Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. So, first and foremost, just a real quick update. Uh, a lot of people have been wondering how I fared with the hurricane. Uh, thankfully, everything's all right on my end. I kind of dodged a bullet, but everything, I could give a thumbs up in that regard. And I'm back here at the camera and uh, getting back into the groove, so to speak. So some people were wondering, just wanted to give that update real quick. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this item. When you think about life itself, let's get philosophical for a moment because we also know that McDonald's, it's a very philosophical subject. Think about life, right? Think about your goals. What do you, right? What do you work for in life? What is it that, is there something that maybe you're waiting for, right? Are there, are there aspirations? Me, all I've been thinking about for probably years, when are they going to release this? When are they going to finally release the cactus plant flea market meal deal? And they finally did. They finally did it. The mad lads actually did it. I mean, can you believe it? I kind of gave that as a minute because I know you can't. I certainly can't. I, I feel like I'm in a dream right now. The cactus plant flea market box is here. It's right here. AKA the adult happy meal, they call it. So McDonald's, this is the next big collaboration. And this actually, because a lot of places, like they, they team up right with pop stars. Uh, a lot of the time you see a lot of famous rappers that get teamed up with. Well, this time, McDonald's said, this isn't going to be music related. This is for all those of you who love all things fashion. Now, obviously, you could see, I mean, you know, I really dig the sick fits, as they say. So when I saw that they teamed up with my favorite clothing line, I couldn't believe it. So Cactus Plant Flea Market is a designer uh, fashion line. So they have, uh, they do a lot of streetwear. And as you could obviously see, that's all that I wear. As a matter of fact, you could actually take a look. The tie that I'm wearing, I'll show you right now, is actually from Cactus Plant Flea Market. So I wear them, I mean, constantly. And McDonald's is finally teaming up with them. All right, that's a bit sarcastic, admittedly, but I, co I couldn't resist. Let's get down to, uh, to brass tacks, as they say. Let's talk about what this is. So, this is a collaboration, though, between uh, this designer streetwear fashion line and McDonald's, and they said, we are going to release a meal deal. It's going to feature the signature designs of Cactus Plant Flea Market. So it's going to be designed in their signature style, it's going to be a happy meal for adults. So it can come with either a Big Mac, 10 piece chicken nuggets. It's going to be in a special box. You're gonna get fries, a drink, and most importantly, you're gonna get a toy with this. That's right. You're going to get most importantly, a special cactus plant flea market toy with your adult happy meal. Wow. It's for the price of $11.50, so you can get a Big Mac, or again, 10-piece chicken nuggets, a medium fries, a medium drink, and a toy in a special box for just $11.50. And there are four toys to choose from. They say that they're going to give you a toy at random, and then, you know, so you never know which one you're going to be able to play around with. So you can get Grimace. You can get the Hamburglar, you can get, what did I think, B Birdie, or you can get the special limited edition Cactus Buddy. 
$11.50. All right. Here's the box. Now, I'll give credit where credit is due. You know, sometimes I think that these ideas can be a bit silly, but at least they did. I think they did a good job with the branding. Uh, you could see they're kind of going with uh, limited edition cactus plant flea market. I like that they're going with uh, the more retro looking McDonald's, kind of like a 90s McDonald's. I like that. All the places these days are these these cubes. So that's nice. Actually kind of looks a little bit like a Pizza Hut, doesn't it? But it's McDonald's. There's the whole gang right there. There they are. Wow. And we are going with the uh, emojis. Ball, boot, bone, and bell. So now you know. That's what they wanted you to know. All right, so I'm just going to take a look. We're just going to assess it. I mean, obviously, I have a feeling that I went with the Big Mac meal this time around. So really, I just want to assess very, very briefly the food quality. I just want to show you what you would get if you ordered this meal. Uh, we're really going to check out the toy. We're going to see how that is. I got a medium Coca-Cola. Like I said, so far, so good with the branding. Give credit where credit is due. The meal has had mixed reactions so far. That's what the inside looks like. Uh, so really, there's no prevailing consensus here. There has been some harsh excoriation about this with some people kind of calling the concept of an adult happy meal infantile. But other people have praised the meal for its really for its creativity and I'm just gonna see what it's all about there's the fries got the Big Mac there and the toy I'm just gonna try it out see how it is so the toy comes in here cactus plant flea market again it's for the price of 1150 so real quick just going to sample the food, just make sure it tastes like what it's supposed to taste like. Uh, let's check out the Big Mac first. Pretty standard as far as Big Macs go. I'm just going to take a bite or two, again, real quick. Really, I just want you to see what's in the meal, so let's try it out. The Big Mac from the Cactus Plant Flea Market box going in. The Big Mac is totally fine. Tastes fine. You know, a messy, a little bit messy to eat. The sauce kind of gets on your fingers, but all in all, pretty good. Very salty, but you have the nice tanginess of the, the secret sauce. Nice tanginess of the pickles as well. Yeah, it's fine. It's a fine Big Mac, exactly what you would expect it to taste like. Can taste that American cheese. A little bit of the onion there. Again, very salty, but this, this the special sauce on the Big Mac is nice. No problem there. Totally standard Big Mac. Not something that's necessarily uh, blowing you away. It's not necessarily going to be like, this is a special thing. It's, it's just, you know, the Big Mac is the most iconic McDonald's item, pretty much. Maybe aside from the fries. So, it's exactly what you would expect it to be. Standard Big Mac. Nothing different about it. The fries, let's try those out. Yeah, fine. A little oily. Nice crisp to them. You can see they're, they're very firm. A 
well salted, nice crunch. Fries are fine too. So everything so far in the meal is standard. There's no special customizations to the food. It's really, they're repackaging uh, very well-known standards on their, their menu, so to speak, putting them in a special box, and then you get the toy along with them. The drink, I got Coca-Cola. Not bad. Sweet, carbonated, has that little, you know, acidic bite to it, but it actually kind of helps offset the, the saltiness and the greasiness of the Big Mac and the fries. So, food-wise, standard fast food McDonald's meal. It's exactly what you would expect from McDonald's. No frills necessarily, but no surprises either, good or bad, in terms of the food itself. But now comes the moment of truth. We saw the box, but a lot of people want to know what toy do you get with it. So let's see. Again, I have no idea. I haven't opened this. We can get Cactus Buddy, we can get Grimace, we can get Hamburglar, or we can get Birdie. So what did we get? Looks like I got... Pretty sure that's Birdie that I got. Let me, let me make sure. I don't want to be spewing out the wrong thing. Yep, we got Birdie. So there's Birdie. Wow. There it is. So this is the toy. Has two sets of eyes. And two sets of goggles right up there. Presumably, those could be like the cups that you see on an octopus. But I presume those are goggles for the eyes. Red hair, it looks like. The little, the little flippers, it's kind of waving around. And it's got the big M for McDonald. Now you have to understand something about the anatomy of Birdie because you could see it's very rigid, right? Very, very stiff. So it actually, the reason why it has that degree of, of stiffness is because it has two spinal cords, that's why. And you could see again, anatomically speaking, the spinal cords shoot up through the foot and go up. That's how it has that, that support. So now you know a little lesson about the anatomy of Birdie. There's the size comparison between Birdie and me. Kind of checking around for any moving parts. I don't, I don't feel any moving parts. I think it's just a plastic figurine. So there's size comparison. Again, tie knot to Birdie size comparison. Let's see if we could set Birdie up. Does it, does it stand on its own? Yes, it does. So there's the toy. So this is what, this is what we've been waiting for. There's Birdie. All right. I'm Birdie. Birdie's walking around. No. I guess Birdie has wings, right? Is it, or is it a flightless bird? I have no idea. We could we could pretend Birdie can fly. Maybe these are like wings. Maybe it's like maybe it's like a jet, right? Or gun. And and you could play with your toy, which I'm in the process of doing right now. So there you have it. There's your toy. I really just wanted to show you what you can get with this meal. Um an adult happy meal again in the Cactus plant flea market style. So, all things considered, I kind of had some fun with this review. Admittedly, uh, if you could tell, I was kind of very sarcastic. All right, now, now me personally, I see this two ways. Number one, the meal is everything that they said that it is. So if you're a fan of cactus plant flea market, if you like their design, if you like the aesthetic, if you really want the toy, right? Because some people do like the collectibles, 
then I think you'll be satisfied with this. Know that the food is standard, no surprises there. But again, they go all out with the branding, which is nice. Half the time you get these meals where they don't, and uh, you just get a plain box. So I like that they went all out with the branding. Uh, I like that the toy, you know, it's, it's exactly what they said that it is. So my formal assessment is going to take all of these things into account. Now, my personal opinion on this, I think it's a bit silly. Um, I, I mean, it is what it is in the end. Granted, this is a lightweight, light, lightweight, pretty cheap piece of plastic. It probably made, probably cost like five cents to make this. So to charge $11.50 for just your standard fast food cardboard box and a five cent uh, plastic toy with no moving parts, just a stiff figurine, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, you could see what they're doing with this. Very low costs, I would wager, to produce. They could have, they could upcharge it a bit and make a pretty big profit off of that. That's the whole name of the game here. That's what this is all about. Repackaging standard items. Just, again, print out some new boxes, cheap plastic toy, charge $11.50 for it, and there you have it, a big seller. That's the name of the game right there, but again, yeah, I think it's silly. I mean... I can't really say I'm personally very enthused, but nonetheless, I know that people are. So taking that into account, if you're a fan of this, it's everything that you hoped for it. So therefore, out of 10, maybe slightly overpriced, but it's exactly what they say that it is. As a, real, as a result, I'm going to give the Cactus Plant Flea Market box a 7 out of 10, slightly overpriced, but you're going to get exactly what they tell you that you're going to get, and that's important. So that's all that I have for you today. All right, on one real quick final note, uh, you might know that I do a radio show. I do a radio show three times a week, uh, twice to North America, once to Europe. I'll talk about whatever's on my mind. I'll play some listener music requests. Unfortunately, the way things are right now, energy costs are going up and the show is struggling a bit. Uh, a station of mine that the show goes out on is going off the air. They're, uh, they just can't afford it anymore. Another station told me they're going to be increasing the airtime rate, so the costs to do the show are really going to be going up soon. So as a result, the show needs your help. If you'd like to support it, if you'd like to help keep it going, please check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash the report of the week. Your help is really appreciated, and you could access shows on demand there. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, the report of the week.